Hello everyone. Today I am going to upload uh, another very interesting and informative video tutorial related to SCAF 1D simulation tool. Today I will show you how we can uh, perform batch calculation and uh, batch analysis in SCAF 1D simulation tool and uh, how we can uh, set parameters from starting parameter and ending parameter and how we can assign different step for particular batch analysis and calculation. So you need to follow me step by step so that you can understand uh, each aspect of my video efficiently. So today I'm going to uh, simulate my periviscite that is basically uh, lid based periviscite. Okay, first of all, I would like to show you the device structure of my today's simulation work. Okay. You can see that, uh, you can see that today I'm going to simulate and I'm going to do batch calculation and batch analysis for a periviscite that is basically lead based periviscite. But the beauty of this periviscite is basically what uh, today I'm using a mix halide periviscite that is basically the mixture of iodide and chloride halogen atoms. And uh, it has been seen that uh, the use of mix halide with thin or lead based periviscite stability of device can be improved as compared to use of single halide. So today I'm going to use another new uh, HDL material that is CU2O uh, instead of typical spiro optimate layer. And the beauty of this whole transport material is that it is less expensive as compared to typical spiro optimate layer. And it has been also seen that via simulation, the performance parameters are improved with use of this periviscite and with this whole transport material. So over here are basically two interfacing layers. First interfacing layer is basically between my HDL with periviscite and second interfacing layer is between my periviscite and ETL material. ETL material is basically typically TiO2 and it is very efficient ETL material that can be used in not only lab work, but also for simulation work as well. So today my focus will be how we can set a batch analysis and how we can perform batch calculations for a particular periviscite device in SCAF 1D simulation tool. So I'm going to once again show you my first interfacing phase page for SCAF 1D simulation. So over here you can see friends that there is a button patch setup we need to click over here. And when once you have clicked over here, you can see that there is an add button. We need to click add button. Okay. By clicking add button, we can see there are different layers that is being uh, configured in SCAF 1D simulation tool. You can see like first one is HTL material and then it interfacing and then periviscite and then again periviscite and then there is ETL material and then FTO glass. So one person can select any of its mentioned layer for setting a batch calculation for computation of batch calculation. So I am going to select my periviscite over here and the next part you can see are there are different parameter and analysis that you can perform during your batch calculation and batch analysis like thickness, defect density, band gap, electron affinity, dielectric permittivity, et cetera. A, words, a person can use any of, uh, of the uh, values like thickness, like defect density, band gap, electron affinity value in order to get its analysis in order to compute its batch calculation. And it is very, efficient for the computation of a set of range of values from a particular analysis like thickness variation, defect density, band gap, electron affinity value. So I'm going to select uh, the batch setup for periviscite and I want to check the effect of the thickness from particular value to any particular range 
so that I can get uh, better results and I can get different values by the variation of my thickness parameter. So over here, you can see that uh, there is a range that is starting point and then there is, is an ending point. A uh, one person can set any range from start and then one person can set any range to end its batch calculation and batch simulation. So next step is in what step you want to compute your batch calculation or batch analysis. I am going to set over here five. So by default, my SCAP simulation tool will provide me five steps for computation of my thickness, variation of my thickness and its effect over the performance from a range of 100 micrometer to 1000 micrometer. And then you need to do what you need to click the button OK. And then you need to click calculate the batch. So we need to wait while the batch computation and analysis is being carried out between the range of 100 micrometer to 1000 micrometer. There will be five steps in which my first batch analysis or computation will be completed. You can see that batch calculation setup two out of five setups are written over here. By default, it, my computation will be carried out in five steps. So you can easily uh, change its starting value and ending value to just calculate a batch analysis from any particular starting point to any ending point. It will provide you set of range from start to end to check the effect of thickness, band gap and other parameters instead of using computation and varying the values one by one. We need to wait while my simulation is being computed so that I can show you how we can save data for particular values, like what was the results over 100 micrometer, what was the results over uh, 200, 300, 400, and till my 1000 uh, micrometer uh, uh, thickness value. So then you can uh, copy that data and put an Excel file or other uh, word format so that you can compute uh, your graph, 2D graphs. So it is very uh, interesting uh, batch analysis for scap one d simulation that uh, it can provide us a variety of analysis from particular range to particular end, starting range to end range. And then we can compute uh, a set of variations with respect to our particular parameter like thickness, other parameters like band gap and so on. So next thing is what we need to click over save data. Okay, show data. You can see that uh, my results were computed between the range of 100 micrometer to 1000 micrometer and for each variation of my thickness, there are basically the results. Like I can show you over here. Okay. You can save your data. You can save your data from over here. And then you can put this data in your Excel file to get to compute the uh, graph, 2D graph. So next step, I am going to do what I am going to change another parameter to perform my another batch calculation. We need to do what we need to go back once again. Okay, now I am going to click my button once again. Batch setup, but I need to do what I need to clear my simulation before starting new setup. Okay. Now I can uh, change an other parameter, like I can change my band gap value and I can perform the batch calculation analysis for the effect of the band gap from starting point from a particular value to a particular range. So first of all, I need to remove this. Okay, now I'm going to click add and now I'm going to set once again my periviscite and now Okay, now I'm going to set my batch calculation batch analysis for the band gap value. Okay, 
we know that the band gap value of a lid based periviscite is basically from 1.55 to 1.85 so i am going to set my starting value of the band gap for my periviscite is 1.55 electron volt and uh, my ending value we know that the higher value of the band gap for lead based periviscite is about 1.88 i'm going to compute my batch calculation analysis for band gap and first i we have computed the uh, batch computation and analysis for uh, variation of the thickness from 100 to 1000 and we have computed the results as well now i am going to set my steps to fourth so that my computation my batch analysis will be computed in four step now we need to click button okay over here and once again we need to click the button calculate the batch okay we need to wait while my simulation is being carried out once again this analysis is very effective for the computation of set of range of parameter from start to end uh, and to get uh, better and uh, uh, optimized value of performance uh, for related to periviscite simulation for any particular periviscite. And uh, we can change any parameter and we can assign any starting and ending value and we can check the effect what effect a particular value is being uh, po provided on our simulation. Like I, ha I have done my first batch calculation for the variation of the thickness. Now I am going to set another batch calculation for, uh, for the uh, analysis of the band cap. And uh, you can see that while I'm clicking over here, the IV curve, uh, this curve is now basically consist of a range of the band gap between 1.55 to 1.85. And my batch calculation is being carried out in four steps and definitely higher the band gap, the lower will be the performance and so on. Similarly, we can perform another batch calculation and batch setups for uh, our today's simulation work. Like, first of all, I we need to clear all simulation button. I'm going to once again batch setup. Now I'm going to remove this and I'm going to add once again added and other batch calculation. Like I am going to set now what I am going to select the fixed density. Okay. In order to compute my batch analysis for defect density, I am going to put my batch analysis for defect density analysis for the periviscite. Okay. Now I am going to set the defect density value from one raised to power fourteen to one raised to power nineteen. The defect density of the absorber. Now I am going to set another batch calculation related to uh, the effect of the defect density of the absorber layer from a range of 1 raised power 14 to 19. And definitely uh, we need to put some steps. I'm going to put my steps over here five so that my batch calculation computation can be completed in five steps. So over here, I'm going to start my batch calculation for the effect of defect density from the range of 1 raised power 14 to 19, definitely higher the defect density, lower will be the performance parameter. Okay. Once again, we need to click button over cal calculate the patch. We need to wait. You can see on screen, my batch calculation, batch analysis is being carried out from starting my defect density value 1 raised power 14, and then there will be 15, 16, 17, 19. It is very interesting thing that uh, instead of varying each and every time your defect density manually, it will take more time. But if we are going to compute uh, uh, batch analysis, uh, batch computation in scape 1D from a certain range, from starting range to end, ending range, it will be more efficient and less time consumptive. So one person can perform any kind of uh, 
uh, batch analysis in scale of 1D by variation of its starting value and ending value and it's check its effect from certain range to certain ending range. So today I just tried to uh, show you how we can do batch analysis and batch computations in scale of 1D. Similarly, you can uh, calculate batch analysis and batch setup for any of your mentioned layer like ETL and HTL and you can vary your starting range to ending range and you can check your results and I today I also express that how you can save your data and you can put on data on your excel file in order to compute the graph. I hope uh, it will be a very interesting session for all of you and uh, I would like to thank all of you for listening to me. And if you have any question or queries, you can comment in, in, in my video section. I will try to explain each of your questions. Take care, stay blessed, Allah Hafiz.